Hello, my name is Leslie Roach, and I am a Cooperative Extension Specialist in Rangeland Science and Management at UC Davis. And today, I'm going to give a summary of drought management on California rangelands. Communities reliant on rangelands are potentially the most vulnerable to climate variability, given their dependence on such a highly climate-sensitive resource, particularly on rain-fed rangelands. Drought has played a formative role in California's early history and has continued to impact the state with six multi-year droughts since 1960, including our very recent historic severe statewide drought. And with most family operations being three generations or more in ranching, there's a lot of experience here that we can learn from. So if we're going to think about how we can adapt to a changing climate, and cope with the increasing predicted frequency and intensity of severe droughts, then who better to learn from than the rangeland managers themselves that work on the ground? To this end, we launched a series of survey efforts, including the California Rancher Decision-Making Mail Survey of nearly 500 ranchers starting in 2011. And we focused on operation demographics, operator values, as well as lessons learned from past droughts. In terms of drought management, we primarily focused on asking ranchers about the practices that they used, and particularly the proactive practices that they used to plan for or prepare for drought. And we found that the tools most used, or the primary tools, focused on actively managing for risk through, for example, using stocking, conservative stocking rates or stocking conservatively to save forage. And we found 35% of ranchers do this or resting pastures to allow for recovery, which nearly 25% of ranchers do. We also asked about reactive drought management practices, or how do ranchers respond to a current drought. And the primary tools here, or those most utilized, involved managing the impact to the bottom line, with over 70% of ranchers reducing herd size or purchasing feed to maintain their base herd. So here, we've identified seven core practices that ranchers most commonly used prior to California's historic drought. More recently, we looked at what have been some of the changes in management practices following the onset of California's historic 500-year drought. And we worked with ranchers to better understand the drought planning, responses, and impacts. In terms of proactive drought management practices, we found increased use across the board, as well as a broader diversity of primary practices used by beef cattle producers. In fact, we saw as much as 90% use of proactive practices compared to those much lower rates that we saw prior to the state's historic drought, which hovered more around 30%. For reactive practices, we again saw an increased use across the board with a broader diversity of primary practices used by ranchers. And so we found that flexibility is key and operations do differ in their strategies and so they need a large toolbox to work with of those proactive and reactive practices. And we've also found in subsequent follow-up that the capacity to cope with drought not only increases with that flexible toolbox of proactive and reactive practices, but also with experience, information, and goal setting for future resources. Thank you. For more information on this topic, we invite you to view a more in-depth presentation that provides science-based insights and conclusions. You can find this and other ranch water quality presentations on the UC Rangelands website and look for the Water Quality Information Hub or direct your web browser to the URL shown on this slide.